Henda, you are now entering a space for black history. Hey yo, back with another video, podcast and chill. <laughs> Let's stop this one. Bro, so I'm 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 brying last night and um mm-hmm. I wanted to hear some music. So I'm like, ah fuck. I haven't been in tune with what's what songs are hard, like on iTunes and stuff. Mm. So I'm like, let me try this radio feature. Have you seen they've got a radio feature on iTunes where you can listen I'm to radio? I'm not big on Apple Music. I actually need to hop on. I'm more of a Spotify guy. Oh, yeah, Spotify so guy. So I'm, I'm clueless. So they got this thing on iTunes where you can okay. listen to like live radio. Cool. So nice. I go on there and then I see, um, I don't know how old, I don't know if it's an old interview or it's an old mix on an old show, but they were doing a show with Uncle Waffles. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, let me listen. Ah, dude, Waffles is a fraud dog. <laughs> ah, yeah. scammer. What scammer. Uh, scammer. The mix is bad. <laughs> I think if we have to give it to one guy who is consistent on hating, consistent on hating Uncle Waffles, it has to be Umek G. See Umek G, and I think the other dude is Usipo, the one that Umek G had on Ima, Ima Piano Countdown or my Piano, something like that. Hey, these people don't like this lady. But hey, the hate is too much. Eh? The mix- and, no, no, she wasn't and, mixing. And, and knowing Musola, I know what he'll probably ride on it also. Because, you know, so like he's with everything that Umek G says. They were interviewing her on this show, mm-hmm. right? And um, and I know people are going to say I'm hating and whatever, whatever. Mm. But like, dude, yeah, but they, are, they, they, uh, they asked her to play like some of her favorite songs. And then uh, one of the songs was Peppa. Mm. So this girl who's doing the show, bro, she's like a hardcore I'm a piano fan. You can tell she loves it. She's obsessed. You know, like how people overseas are with my piano, you know, mm. they don't understand it and they're like fascinated about it, right? Mm. So she really wants to know, you know, like what's this thing? What's going on? So she's like, all right, cool. So Waffles is like, um, I'm going to play this Beba song. Uh, it's, uh, I like it because it's bringing Bacardi to the fore in, in terms of the global mm-hmm, stage. Mm-hmm. And then the lady's like, so what's Bacardi? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, waffles literally for about 10 seconds was like um i'm not really quite sure but it's got a bounce <laughs> give us another song that you're loving from the world of a mapiano okay i'm loving Peppa mm-hmm. simply because uh it's opening up the world to bacardi which is another genre and opening up a lot of new performers like there's a whole new group of performers who are emerging who are bacardi performers so i love Peppa by Sean music so what what happy. categorizes this genre? Like how do we differentiate f- between the sounds? Um, okay, I really Ooh. can't pinpoint the exact difference, but I know that Bacardi yeah, is yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think I I get Mickey's point. Uh, I think I, I I'm sorry for saying he's hating, but hey man, we have to keep it one hundred. He's been on 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 Uncle Waffles' case. But in this matter, I definitely get his point because at the end of the day, I was in a field that you can't even explain. Um, I can't be a gospel singer or a choral singer, but I can't even explain notes. I can't even explain different types of, of keys. Then ganja, it means it's either I did not do my studies properly or it's just pure talent and I don't feel the need of even knowing what, what I'm doing as long as people love it. Because there's people like that. There's people who are talented, who don't see the need of studying the game they are on. They just do it for the, for the love. It's like most piano artists, they don't study what piano is, especially vocalists. They don't study what piano is. But people love my sound and people love the way I sound on the mic then we rock, we rock, that's it so I, I, I understand where Omek G is coming from and it's even worse because of oh, Uncle Waffles is a DJ and for a DJ you have to know your sounds you have to know your sounds for a DJ you have to man I'm still, I'm still working on my Bacardi I'm trying to make a Bacardi song I think it ate a bit but you know I'm still working on it oh is that next? It's on my project. You know, you see, it was like a slight... I was, you know, I was entering. I was How could you put something yeah. in your project? Yeah, your toe. Yes, you don't you even know, know just it. testing the waters. Yeah, there's just a different bounce. And also, the, the way they sing on the songs is mm. very different. Very, very different. It's a big one. Let's get into it. Beba. Was she lying, though? What? <laughs> Maybe she just <laughs> didn't maybe. have... A, she but didn't also, know how to explain oh, it. Oh, like, obviously, it's got that bounce. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got that... What? 
Ghost lady, are you hearing yourself? I'm hearing myself. I'm I'm Ghost lady, the you, are, you, you are the biggest Ama Piano export okay. DJ yeah. that's representing Ama Piano yeah. in the world. You don't know what Bacardi is. She's you gotta say it's a bounce. Ah, she she oh, she yes, okay. She's the biggest export, but she's not like a a, a, a piano fundi. But that's the problem. That's the problem. The library of. But that's the problem. Bacardi, where it started. No, you're oh, hating. God. That's the problem. You're hating. Not Please. having the knowledge. Okay. Not having the knowledge. My Look, dog. My dog. You listen. can be a good rapper, but you don't know your rap history. Bro, bro. Here's here's a genre, right? That you've immersed yourself. Okay, no, you haven't even immersed yourself into it. But here's a genre that pays your bills, mm -hmm. right? Literally, this is how you make money. This is how you made your prominence. This is how everybody knows you. And now you're representing this genre to the world. It's a bad representation. To I the agree. world. Okay. To bad the world. Representation. I right? agree. And you're not even going to immerse yourself and like try and study it but, or understand. But but but, but what's but, going on? But again, um, you see, when it comes to learning things. You learn at your own pace. The way I would probably take Uncle Waffles is that she was still new on the Pakadi sound, so she was still learning the sound. Hence, I think she has a couple of songs or a couple upcoming songs because of she heard the sound, she felt too good, it's nice, then she wanted to try something on the sound. If it works out, then that's when she will deep, dive deep into knowing what, you, what exactly is this sound. It's like YouTube. On your first YouTube video, you don't care much. You don't care about uh, uh, templates. You don't care about how you sound on the mic. You don't care what you react to. You don't even care about views. But as Magnogu is cut, then you start understanding Mugoti. Oh, a certain template can get you views if you put it like this, like this. And also how you name your videos, it can also give you views. And it's important to react on certain things and not even bother reacting on certain things. Then you end up knowing what is it that you are doing on YouTube. And it's easy for you now to explain it, Mugoti. Who YouTube, who YouTube, I'm a reactor. And this is how I get my views. This is how probably I make my money and this is how my videos are structured and this is how I want things to be because of you've you've now tapped into that and you put it upon yourself for good you want to do more and research more so now your uncle waffles I think it was that time where she 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 was stepping into the sound but not fully engaging Guyo to a point that she, we will say that she's supposed to know or she's not supposed to know. So I, I'll take it. I'll take it like that. Hundred percent. And when people agree. ask you what's Bukari, you're like, I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck out of here, guys. Okay, maybe what else uh, did she redeem herself somewhere? What else did she? No, say? she. It got even worse. She's like, all I know is that there's different vocals and different lyrics, and it's got a bounce. Ah, uh, she said sound. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, uh, she said sound. Bro, I remember. I remember. Never in my life did I think I'd be on YouTube, right? Yeah. Because I'm a radio guy. But when I saw, okay, cool, this YouTube thing is starting to bring in money. I messed myself. Till this yeah. day, I'm still finding out how YouTube works. And learning. Like, I learned how to edit myself, mm -hmm. do the sound, what a CPM is, but how the thumbnails. Problem, she's not a producer. Maybe if, nah, no, she's what, a if, DJ, if, if, so. if you ask a producer, what's Bacardi, what's Quantum, what's Skija, Bro. they'll be able to tell you. But she's not a producer. Ah, she's, guys. she's an art. Ah, a, guys. She's, she's an explaining act, from the, her understanding and how what she hears from the sound. Bro, look at Tyler. When Tyler does interviews, you can tell, like, this is from within. Yeah. It's from within the soul. She, she even She's not just doing it interview. for vibes, bro. Yeah. It's match day. What a day. Ah, so put some respect, dog. Because she didn't nah, bother to research uh, other different sounds of Ama Piano or she can't, she doesn't know no, deep it, enough no, no, it, the it, different sounds for of me, Piano. For me, the way I see it is like this person doesn't care about this genre. Ooh. This kid, this person doesn't even care like where it comes from, hasn't even taken time to do research. The little basic level shit. Ah, but that's harsh, man. We can't say she doesn't care if she's getting bread from this type of music because in order for her to make sure what she gets the bread that she's getting, she has to study something somewhere. And she had to understand the sound that she's giving to the people. And she had to master that sound because it was giving her bread. So if she doesn't know Bacardi from what she's used to, then she's probably new and she's still learning. So I mean, I wouldn't say she doesn't care. I wouldn't put it 
that harsh with she doesn't care. Yes, it's a bad representation of what South Africa or of what Bacardi is to someone who is from the overseas who wanna understand what Bacardi is, then when it it just has a different bounce sound and the vocals are different. You can't explain it like that to Umuntu who doesn't even know at all what Bacardi is. That's very bad. But we can't go out and say what she doesn't care. Nah, 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 nah. Mm. Yeah, at of least like, do research to avoid like waffling with Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, at, at least do a bit of research to wafling. know. Uri, yes. It comes from here. Yes. And this is why. You yeah, know? Yeah. Especially on that stage, dog. Because when you know, this lady... You, get, you, you probably get... You are the most interviewed I'm a, uh, individual in Amapiano. Yeah, no, representing us. Mm. And you don't know what Bacardi is. Ah, oh, guys. Yeah, I always say... Guys, I always I, I say mean, go to Osol. In some cases, he would challenge what Umekji is saying. But... He easily gives in. He easily gives in. Because of he had some valid points. Yoguti, just because of you are a rapper and you do not know your rap history, it doesn't mean Yoguti, you're not a good rapper. He had some valid points. But yeah, it is what it is, man. Hey. And congratulations to Waffles. She's doing well. But we got to call her bullshit, man. Hmm. I wouldn't say she's... Uh... I wouldn't say she's... Uh, what a did fraud? you call her? A fraud. Yeah, yeah. you called her you know? a fraud. But... Do some research. I wouldn't say her whole thing is fake. Uh, her love for, for, for the stuff is fake. She's a fraud. But it is embarrassing when you're yeah. going to get asked by someone seeking knowledge on a particular sound and you're one of the biggest acts and you don't know uh, how to even explain the sound. But I wouldn't say she's a fraud. Just yeah. It's embarrassing, definitely, you know? Like, it's like... I get interviewed and I don't know who Joe Rogan is. Hey, it's, it's embarrassing, but it dude, doesn't mean it doesn't make me less podcasting. Of, no, but nah, it doesn't but make you, me less of a podcaster. Yeah, nah, it I doesn't don't... mean that you have to follow who Joe Rogan is. You just have to know who Joe. That's it. You just have to know. You don't even like Manji when when Sod is saying that. It, I think in McGee's head, it's like you have to know what time he drops his shows. You have to know who he had on last week. When was he born? His history. You understand. Who waffles know what Bacardi is? She just didn't invest so much of her time into finding exactly the detailed information on what makes the sound to be Bacardi. So if you just know, it's like me knowing Guti, there's a guy by the name of Ulundi who was a gospel singer. It ends there. It just ends there. It's like me knowing Guti, there's Umame Bamiza or Dr. Rebecca. Then it ends there. You understand? Now, when a fan or someone who's into gospel then says, hey, you cannot, you, you cannot be South African and not know what Rebecca's first album is, second album is, third album is. Hey, dude, not to say I don't care, but it's not my cup of tea. I just know her for who she is, and then that's it. I know Joe Rogan. I don't even watch Joe Rogan's show, but I know who Joe Rogan is, and it ends there. That's it, man. Dog, it says a lot, bro. Nah. If you don't know Joe Rogan. No, but it doesn't say I'm a horrible podcaster. Yeah. Ah, it's embarrassing. Guys, but it doesn't guys. mean okay, does that mean, he wants that, a feature, no, this guy. No, <laughs> no, that's a great example. It does not mean that like it's like you're a great football player, but you don't know who Maradona is. Does it make you lesser of a football player? No. Nope. It discredits. It's embarrassing. No, and it does discredit, discredit, discredit too. man. True. True, but it doesn't mean. You're no, a fraud. Oh, oh, only you're just good at what you do. Maybe now. And I don't want instance, a feature, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not even a fan oh, of Uncle Waffles, hit you know. But hit I stand for the truth, and and for me, I, that's how I see it as the truth. Anyway, uh, shout out to Tyler. Yeah, man. Um, and I appreciate what Usol is saying, even though I feel good to Usol when it comes to standing by what he believes against what Umekji believes. He he stands in a 50-50 position. But I, I, I fully understand also because of that's how the show works. So I'm not saying good he, he is a yes, a yes say and a no say Yagamekji. Sometimes he does stand his ground and sometimes he had he has valid points. It's just that he doesn't push them through. Like now he has valid points. He just doesn't want to push them through and make Umekji understand or see how he sees things. And also when he's saying that if you're a football player and you do not know who Maradona is, it doesn't even make you less of a football player. You just don't give a shit. 
That's it. You just don't give a shit. You are focused on your talent and you are focused on what you want to achieve. You don't care about who achieved what. You might know the word or the name Maradona, but you might not know how he looked like. You might not know what he played for. You might not know what team he played for, what age he retired. You, you just know Maradona and the hand of God go. That's it. And most people know Maradona for that. But they out here playing soccer and they are the best at it. I understand. Just because me, personally, Mina, I've never seen a video Yaga Pele at Lalipola, but I know who Pele is. I just don't know which team he plays for. I just don't know uh, uh, what uh, 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 number jersey he had on. But I know there's a legend by the name of Upele. And it ends there, man. Same as Joe Rogan. It ends there. You just know there's a podcaster by the name of Joe Rogan. You don't have to watch Amashow Waki. You don't have to follow him around in order for you to be a better podcaster. So even Uncle Waffles knows Uguti, there's a sound called Bakadi. And this is how it sounds. This is the music that I got from my friends who have studied Ipakadi. And this is beautiful music. I just have to put it on. Then it ends there. That's it. That's it. That's why Nito Sol had valid points. Utinje, he just didn't want to push them through and make Umekji uh, 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 open up and see things from a different perspective. And also, it goes back to this thing that I said. Utinje is very consistent into hating Uncle Waffles. And I personally hope Uti she doesn't flop because of if she flops with Umekji, with the like the biggest podcast that he has, and Uncle Uncle, Uncle Waffles flops. Oh man, it's gonna be lit. So she just have to keep it going and keep it moving and represent the SA at the end of the day. I don't. Is she from South Africa? I think there were some places where, but it's uh, uh, is it the Soto or what Botswana? But I I don't think she's South African. I don't think she's South African. But also, my friend, to a shout out to every artist that's out there in the world representing in Zanzi and representing their hometowns and also no uncle waffles she's doing her own thing and she's a female in a male dominated industry and she's fucking things up let's give her that thank you guys for watching we out